what I'm going to talk to you today about is toilets. And it's well known that you can never have a conversation with a boater without coming on to the subject of toilets. What else do you speak about when you're having lunch with a poo? Now, on a narrow boat, there are three main types of toilet. You've got a cassette toilet, a pump out toilet, and a compost toilet. I'm sure there are other types as well. If you can think of any others, let me know in the comments down below. My toilet is a pump out toilet, and basically, it looks the same as a toilet that you'd get in a house. It's got a ceramic bowl and it's full of water, and you use it in exactly the same way. But what happens is when you flush it, there's a macerator, which basically it's like a grinder and it goes and grinds up all of the, um, the poo and the wee and turns everything into liquid and puts it into a holding tank. Um, that holding tank is under my bed, which is a really common design for narrow boats. That tank will fill up and you will need to empty it. There are a couple of ways to know when your toilet is about to become full. You can notice that your boat is sitting differently in the water because there'll be more weight on the side of the boat where the wastewater tank is and I always try to fill my fresh water out at the same time that I'm emptying my toilet because then I know what the balance should look like so I'll know if from looking at the boat and from the feel of it whether the toilet's starting to get full or not and also once it starts to get close to being full you can smell it a little bit once you finish doing your pump out it's really strange because there's a lot less weight on the boat so it noticeably sits differently in the water and you can feel a lot more rocking as well when you're inside and I'm going to show you how I empty my pump out toilet so the first thing that you need to make sure is that you get a porridge off of your chin and then the second thing that you need to make sure before you do a pump out is that the weather is really really bad it needs to be overcast cold preferably raining and full points if it's snowing it's absolutely vital that the weather is crap because you're going to be spending the next hour stood outside there getting wet getting smelly so of course the weather needs to be pants as well and then you're going to need a couple of bits of equipment uh, first thing that you'll need is one of these keys and another thing that you're going to need is some of this um, chemical toilet liquid um, there are lots of different brands um, but basically you're going to need some of this you need your key and then we're gonna head outside and get on with the pump out so I'm off to go and get the pipe that I need and this is the pump out station which runs the pump out you press the green button to switch it on and the red button again to turn it off when you're finished and that's the pipe that you need and then you use the key that I showed you before to unscrew the cap on top of your boat um, I kind of filmed this a little bit back to front so ignore some of the mess and the poo that you can see it won't be there before you start and um, then you get this end of the hose and stick it in that hole there and basically a pump out is just a really large vacuum cleaner and it will suck all of the waste out there you stick the other end onto that pipe there um, it's easier to do when you haven't got a camera in your hand and that's connected to the sewer and you lift up this valve here on the side and that starts the suction and as you can see all of the poo will come out of the boat like that if you lose any pressure then you can close that valve for a few minutes and let it build up again and then reopen it and you'll get a nice big suction of poo coming out and basically all you have to do now is just wait until 
your tank is empty and nothing else comes out. Um, once you're finished, you use the chemical and pour it down into the hole there. And what that does, it helps to break up the solids and turn them into liquid and makes it easier when you're doing the pump out. And then you re-screw the cap on top of there. Um, whilst you're doing this, you need to run the pipe into fresh water just to rinse it out and make sure that all of the solid waste has cleared from the pipe. So all of that's done now, back on the boat. First thing that you need to do is wash your hands, wash them again, wash them again. It can get a bit smelly, that's why you were wearing clothes that you don't mind getting dirty. I'm gonna chuck this straight in the wash now. I try to make new videos once a week, so please subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye.